Today we're going to do a review of why value dabs matter. I'm going to use the view value finder and you can also watch the demo that I put up earlier today. So let's get started. Joe McKenzie here, your watercolor coach. I just put a video up which demonstrates value shape painting. That's what I call it. I do. I look at different shapes and then I plug value or how light or dark a color is into the shape. And if I do that successfully, I end up with a painting. So you can watch that demonstration, but I also wanted to sort of uh, slow it down a little bit and show you some current projects and how that works. So what I'm doing is I'm getting back to um, painting animals, which was my first love. I call them pet friends. I usually paint a pet friend a day, but I don't have the same energy I used to have. So what I've done is on Facebook, People have sent me pictures and um, and what I do is I decide which ones I want to do. There's no pressure, it's just for fun and then I post them. So this is the first guy that came in. Come on, how can you, I mean really, <laughs> so adorable. Uh, so this, this photograph came in and I wanted to show you the value dabs that created this painting. And what I mean by that, here are the value dabs. And what I do, or my sort of what, what, I, what I do, and I think this is gonna show up backwards unfortunately. Um, but what I do is I make different columns. There's a dark column, a medium column, and a light column. And this is what I mean by value. So if I put the value finder in front, you can see that these are all darker shapes, uh, darker colors that I'll plug into shapes. These are midtones, and I think you can see that they are significantly lighter than anything in the dark column. And if we go across, the next is shows that these colors in value are lighter than the midtones. So if I successfully find my masses, masses meaning big shapes, and I plug color into the mass, dark colors into that mass, and then do the same thing with my medium shapes, I mean colors into shape, and then my lights, I will come up with a painting. And that's what creates, ends up creating this painting. So all these colors were used in the painting. But what's important is the actual st strategy of it, that as long as you plug in your darks and make sure that your midtones are just slightly lighter than your darks. If I had put a dark in the midtones and used that, everything would get kind of skewed and wouldn't work successfully. You have to follow the actual, um, I don't want to say method, but for me, it's like a roadmap, making sure that everything once I discover a mass, I can plug color into mass, color into mass, color into mass, but it has to work this way. I can't have any value confusion. If I have value confusion, then that creates visual confusion and you won't have a successful form. So the video that I did yesterday was this guy named Lilac, so it must be a girl. Oh gosh, so sweet. Oh gosh. Um, I, I love painting pets. I like uh, cats too. I'll probably do a cat today. We'll see how the day goes. And again, the same thing. You can see all the darks and these are mostly neutrals, but that doesn't matter. It doesn't, color is irrelevant. What matters is how dark or light something is in relation to, in relationship to something else. And you can see that with the value finder. Now this is just a piece of plexiglass which you can go to a hardware store and have someone cut for you. Um, Dick Blick, I think, sells one that is cellophane. It doesn't matter. But what it does for me is it allows me to see those values really clearly. I've gotten so good at seeing value because I've done this for a long period of time that I often, I don't need the value finder anymore. But I did take time off from painting and what I found on reflection when I came back was, holy smokes, I had value confusion, which wasn't happening before I took the break. Before I took the break, I'd mix something up and I knew exactly which column it would go in. I didn't have to, test dabs were getting minimal, <laughs> but I'm back to test dabs because uh, clearly my eye needs the training. So that's what I wanted to explain. And if you watch my channel, you'll see there are lots of demonstrations of this. Um, it's just the way that I like to see the world and um, I'm not suggesting at all that this is the way to paint. There is no one way to paint and um, so you do you. So remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, mass for value, mix for color. Please join my YouTube channel. Tell a friend to join my YouTube channel. I am a little thirsty, I have to admit. 
I'm trying to get to a certain number. Once I get to that certain number, I will let it go. I promise myself that I'll let it go. <laughs> oh boy. Well, that's, that's, that's living these days, right? Um, we all suffer a certain degree of needing uh, a num numbers and likes. But uh, like I said, for some reason, I pick this arbitrary deadline or line of number. And when I get to it, then I'll stop. Um, I'm not stop doing the channel, but stop perseverating about wanting it to get to a certain number. It's a little kooky, but I admit to being a little kooky. So thanks for watching. And like I said, please join my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.